Joining me now is Sunil Gavaskar, legendary cricketer, former India captain, joins me. First of all, Mr. Gavaskar, happy birthday. It was your birthday yesterday, turned 73. How did you celebrate your birthday there in London? Well, uh, thank you very much and thank you to all, all, all your uh, viewers who would have uh, uh, sent me wishes. Very difficult to reply to everybody, but uh, from here, let me thank everybody. Uh, well, it was lunch uh, with the family uh, and then uh, I got the opportunity to go to the men's singles finals at uh, Wimbledon. Uh, so really a special uh, day to, uh, to, uh, to, to be able to go to the finals. And then in the evening, uh, um, had the opportunity to have uh, a meal with uh, my, uh, my favorite uh, uh, sports person, Vijay Amritraj, uh, another tennis, uh, you know, tennis legend. So it was a wonderful evening, yeah. Okay, let's for a moment forget the tennis aces and talk about our cricket ace who's making the news, Virat Kohli. Direct question, Mr. Gavaskar, should he be dropped as suggested by Kapil Dev, among others? Do you also go along with Kapil Dev and Venkatesh Prasad that it's time to relook at Virat Kohli's place, especially as a T20 player ahead of the World Cup later this year? Well, firstly, I'm not in the business of, uh, you know, responding to what other, other uh, former cricketers have said. Uh, because they are they are all entitled to their opinions. So I'm not going to go into um, whether you know what they say is right or what they say is wrong. In any case, whatever I say, you know, you guys are going to make it into a big story. So I would rather not say on that. I I would only say that we've got quite a few uh, T20 matches coming up. We've got a five match series against mm -hmm. the West Indies coming up. T20 series uh, end of July. Uh, no, in, I think yeah, end of July to uh, middle of August, and then we have uh, the uh, the uh, the Asia Cup, I think, starting from 27th of August to uh, to uh, middle of uh, uh, September. Again, playing against some top teams, Pakistan, uh, Bangladesh, Afghanistan, Sri Lanka, all very, very good uh, T20 teams. And then I think we probably have uh, three uh, T20s against Australia, who will be touring uh, India, or maybe five T20s against Australia. After which, the team has to be announced. Uh, because since we play our first match in, in the World Cup on the 23rd of October, I think you have a, a month before that to announce the team. So we have plenty of opportunities to see what the team's balance should be. And here it, it's not a question of just one person because there are not, he's not the only one out of form. Sure. There are others who are also haven't scored enough runs. May, may I with due respect, uh, Mr. Gavaskar, say you're ducking my question. You're very good at ducking the fast bowlers or swaying away from the line. You're saying that, do you believe, would you say that Virat Kohli sh should play all these matches in the lead up to the World T20, prove himself, and then the selectors can take a call whether he's good enough to go for that World Cup. That at the moment, Virat Kohli cannot now take a break from the game. He has to make himself available and play every match and prove that he is in form. Well, I just say cricketers, when they, when they are playing for India, cannot take a break. If they are left out of the side by the selection committee, that's fine. But nobody should be asking for a break when it comes to playing for India. Because nobody asks for a break from playing from the IPL. They ask for a break when they are playing the Ranji Trophy. They don't want to play Ranji Trophy, particularly if it's in an unglamorous place where they will probably not be a five-star hotel. They ask for a break. I think that that should be completely stopped. You must play for India. If the selection committee says you're left out of the team, that's another matter. But there should be no allowance made for all these players who are a terrific retainer with the BCCI. You tell me which company allows its executives the managing directors, directors, the kind of, you know, okay, take time off, take time off, take time off with the kind of retainer that the Indian players get. So, no. Let the selection committee say you need a rest. That's another matter. But a player cannot ask that he should be arrested. That's, that's my view. You're making a huge point that no player, not even the great Virat Kohli, can say I want, can decide when he wants to take a break. But I just want to add along with that, do you believe, therefore, that no player is indispensable? I mean, can we say that Virat Kohli today is an automatic choice in the team or can players be dropped when they're not informed? I know great players in the past have been dropped in the past. Is Virat Kohli an exception or do you believe he, is, uh, uh, he has to prove himself all over again? Is he indispensable? Look, there has been no player, including Don Bradman or, or Gary Sobers, who's been indispensable. They have been absolutely unbelievable, greatest of players. But, you know, when... When, when they are not available due to injury or illness, uh, somebody else has come in and taken their place. So, yes, uh, 
Uh, you've got to say that uh, the history of the game, there has not been a single player who has been indispensable. You know, uh, Mr. Gavaskar, you've seen players over the years, great players, be, uh, get off form. Do you see, therefore, T20 to be the ideal format for a Virat Kohli to recover his form? Or would you prefer that maybe he just gives up T20 cricket, focuses on one-day internationals and test cricket, where perhaps it's even easier for a class player like him to get back in form? Do you believe that that is the choice Virat Kohli should make now, given how T20 is changing and we have a surfeit of young talent emerging? I think that's a call for him to take. Uh, he knows his cricket uh, better than anybody else. Uh, no, we, we are from the outside. We don't know what, what is, what, what's the mental situation of a particular player, how he enjoys playing a particular format or not. Uh, there are sometimes some difficulties. I had some difficulties at the start of the one-day cricket uh, to be able to adjust to, to the requirements of the game where you had to hit the ball up in the air a lot more than, say, in test cricket. So it takes you a little bit, bit, bit of time to get used to uh, to uh, play uh, in, the, in the manner that is expected. Uh, so, ideally, I think, uh, like I said, we've got a lot of T20 cricket coming up, and uh, we, should, we should really wait until that to finalize our, our uh, batting squad for the World Cup in October. But, you know, nobody has watched the game uh, for as long and as closely as you do. Do you see Virat Kohli to be genuinely out of form at the moment? Do you see him as someone who's struggling uh, he hasn't scored 100 in three years, which is a long time. What has gone wrong, according to you, uh, with Virat Kohli's batting? Purely looking at it from the outside. Uh, I think uh, uh, his first mistake is invariably turning out to be his last mistake. Um, and, 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 and that kind of a patch happens to everybody. Yes, I know it's been a pretty uh, longish patch because of the fact that uh, uh, we are so used to him scoring hundreds, and we haven't seen that uh, for mm -hmm. a couple of years. Uh, but he's got a lot of 70s, 80s in between as well. But again, over there, 70s, 80s, he gets to 70, 80, he makes, makes a, his first mistake, and he gets out. So the luck hasn't quite been with him uh, over these last uh, couple of years. You know, uh, Mr. Gavaskar, though, that the T20 team at the moment in India is brimming with a lot of young talent. We saw Surya Kumar Yadav score a magnificent 100 only yesterday. Deepak Hudda scored one a few weeks ago. There's a view, let's give these youngsters a chance to play this World Cup and maybe move beyond the Virats and, and the, we've got nothing to lose as we did when we won the 2007 World Cup without the Tendulkars, Dravids and Gangulis, the first T20 World Cup. Should we take that chance, take a punt with the younger players? I think India has got, um, India is very blessed to be having so many options. Uh, that uh, you know we can we can even think in terms of uh, uh, having uh, you know some of our senior players are up of you know for people who have brought glory to the country uh, their places are being uh, being considered uh, as uh, downfalls. that's a that's a that's a blessing that the indian uh, you know indian cricket has uh, but that's that's a call that uh, you know the selection committee should be should be taking you know you're playing very defensively today so in conclusion let me ask you i'm going to push you again what would you suggest that Virat Kohli does? Play the next 15 games along with the other players and then the selector should choose whether he is good enough to go to Australia, just go by his current form, not by past history? The best way to go about it really is uh, you know, to see how, how, how people perform in these uh, five uh, T20 games against the West Indies and the Asia Cup and, uh, and, and then take a call. I think that time you know, it will be a lot clearer because you also looking at form closer to the, to the tournament. Uh, sometimes, you know, form in the month of April uh, doesn't quite reflect in the month of uh, September, October. So I think the form closer uh, to the World Cup uh, should be the one that the selection committee should be looking at. Okay, one, one final piece of advice. If you want to give some, uh, any advice to Virat Kohli, what would that one piece of advice be? Well, he's, he's experienced enough. He's been there, he's seen, he's been there, done that. Uh, he knows the ups and downs. Uh, remember the time he added 2014 when he couldn't score a run against England, but the way he came back in 2018 is scoring almost 700 runs. He knows the ups and downs. He knows how to handle the, the pressure. So uh, there's no point of me uh, uh, saying anything to him. All I can say to him is God bless and, and good luck and go on and uh, get plenty of runs. And just one final word, you know, when you were playing the game, there was no social media. Now we've got every social media 
uh, watcher, cricket fan, uh, having a view on Virat Kohli, whether he should be dropped or not. What should he do? How do you keep that surround sound away? What, what should he do about it? <laughs> I would say to them, uh, you know, be patient. Okay. Be patient. Well, we have, we'll be patient with Virat Kohli. We hope class is permanent and form is only temporary. But for now, Sunil Gavaskar, as always, thank you very much for joining us and wish you a very happy 73rd birthday once again. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much.